We're here today to talk about frog bit, Limnobium lavagardum. Frog bit is an aquatic plant that's still traded today through online sales and aquariums. Frog bit comes from South America. The problem with this plant is that it can double its density in ideal conditions in two to three days and it can choke out uh, desirable species from wetlands and freshwater bodies. It can devastate the natural environment. One of the telltale ways to distinguish frog bit from other aquatic species is with the leaf, on the undersurface, it has this raised fleshy part that gives the plant buoyancy and stops it from sinking. This is unique to this species of plant and it's how we uh, quickly identify it in the field. The pond behind me has a history of frog bit it's been detected about three years ago, uh, believed to be uh, the result of a nearby landholder dumping the remains of an aquarium into the water body, thinking that they were doing the right thing. However, three years ago, half of this pond was devastated uh, by total dominance. And since then, uh, Mid Coast Council's quick work has managed this plant basically almost out of existence. So today we've come to do an inspection. We do inspections on these ponds around about every six weeks. We've come and we've found two minute pieces in the pond today. As a part of trying to establish when a infestation can be deemed eradicated, Council's partnered with New South Wales Department of Primary Industries to undertake eDNA sampling to try and detect uh, DNA of frog bit and keep collecting samples until we can determine that it's eradicated from the site. eDNA testing is going to pick up minute particles of the plant. So even if it's not visibly able to be seen, it can detect that it's still present in the water body. Mid Coast Council has a booklet resource called Gardening Responsibly. Pick up a copy from Mid Coast Council offices, have a look in the water weeds section. It'll give you information on how to identify frog bit. We're calling on all residents of Mid Coast area to keep your eye out for this plant and report it if you find it. We don't want this contaminating our area. It's an eradication target for Mid Coast. So please call us and we'll do everything we can to assist you.